people have asked me for years, how come you never came out with a creatine product? And the answer was, frankly, I couldn't produce anything that wasn't out there already. Nothing unique. And I'm about improving products, making products that are uh, impressively potent, number one, and number two are innovative. Um, I don't want to just be another yeah, me product, okay? So when I finally encountered this a chemist who was able to solve some of the age-old problems with creatine monohydrate, I, I, I got really excited, to be honest with you. And I don't, not, not, it takes a lot to get me excited. Uh, in, invariably, creatine has two inherent problems in it. Uh, let, let's talk a little bit first about what creatine does. Number one, creatine gives the body or buffers ATP levels, the energy source or fuel source that the muscle uses to move itself. Okay, Creatine ensures that ATP levels are at optimal levels. And the more creatine you have in the muscle, the more buffering ability of you have of the ATP uh, source in the cell. Number two, it volumizes the muscle, meaning it draws fluid into the muscle Okay, in response to the creatine being absorbed. And it, creates, it, it makes the muscle swell. This creates a very anabolic environment for the muscle and helps the muscle grow and repair at a, at a greater rate. Uh, a lot of people know this. The trick is getting the creatine into the muscle. Uh, creatine powders have been around for almost 20 years now. Okay, There's two severe problems with, with creatine monohydrate, which happens to be the most absorbable form on the market right now. Uh, it, it, it's, it's lasted through 20 years. People have tried other versions of creatine. Creatine monohydrate is, is the most potent version. Everyone wants to use creatine monohydrate. The problem with creatine monohydrate powder is that when you mix it in water, it doesn't dissolve. It doesn't have very good what we call solubility. If you put the creatine powder in, in the water and you mix it and it's sitting on the bottom of the cup, it's not getting absorbed. Okay, Think about what happens when you put salt in water. When you put salt in water, it disappears. What does that mean? It means it becomes solubilized 100%. It, the salt goes into solution and becomes salt water. We want this creatine to go into solution and become creatine water. The problem is it doesn't happen. And because of that, you're not absorbing whatever doesn't go into solution. So when you take a creatine monohydrate powder, you, maybe you're only absorbing 10% of it. And what a lot of people realize is they have to take to upwards of 20 grams to maybe get absorbability of 2 grams of it. What's happening to all that other stuff that's not getting absorbed? Well, you're, just, you're kind of eliminating it from your body and, and sometimes you're creating uh, you, you, you can create diarrhea you can create stress for your kidneys this is not something that's good another issue that uh, creatine monohydrate has is when it gets into the stomach okay the stomach acids or the acidic environment of the stomach tends to break the creatine down into what we call creatinine which is a waste product if creatine is broken broken down into creatinine once again it's not getting absorbed it's getting eliminated from the body as a waste product we do not want this to happen. So there's a lot of problems with creatine. So we, we, what most people do to overcome these problems is take high, high amounts of it, which number one is costly. Number two is it puts a tremendous strain on the body, okay, specifically the kidneys. And once again, it, it can cause diarrhea in certain individuals. This chemist that I encountered who helped me formulate Creolize, and we have a patent on this formula, so it cannot be copied, uh, did solve both problems. Number one, we suspended the creatine in a liquid, okay, which is normally not done because liquid creatines and liquid tend to be unstable. We have a 100% stable liquid creatine product, okay. In the, the liquid environment, we suspended it and we made it very uh, alkaline. In, in nature. What that does is this alkaline buffer protects the creatine molecule from the stomach acids. Uh, more importantly, however, the creatine is 100% solubilized. That means it's in solution already. When you take a one ounce cap of this creatine monohydrate of Creolize and you pour it into a eight ounce glass of water, it will completely disappear. It will enter solution. It will go 100% into solution. It is 100% what we call solubilized. What that means is that when you drink this eight ounces of fluid down, your body will, number one, not the stomach acid will not attack this stuff because it's protected in, in an alkaline buffering system. And number two, you will absorb the, the creatine monohydrate 100%. So a one ounce serving of Creolize provides one ounce, excuse me, a one ounce serving of Creolize produces or provides three grams of 100% absorbed creatine monohydrate. And what you'll feel instantly, okay, is more energy in the gym, better pumps, better recovery, and it, probably in the first week you'll gain upwards of 10 to 12 pounds. That's my uh, experience with the stuff. Uh, once again, 
we all know that creatine needs to be delivered to the muscle. And the best way to deliver creatine or absorb creatine into the muscle is via insulin release. A lot of formulas on the market put tons and tons of sugar uh, in with their creatine monohydrate product under the guise of causing insulin release. But the truth of the matter is you really don't need a ton of sugar to cause enough insulin release to absorb your creatine monohydrate. Uh, we don't put any sugar in our in Creolize. It has zero sugar. We suspend it instead in a glycerol base. Glycerol is, 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 is a non-sugar molecule. Um, it helps deliver the creatine right where we want it to the muscle cell, and it does cause some insulin release, not extremely high amounts of it because we don't need extremely high amounts of it. So this product can be used while dieting or while in an off-season scenario where you're trying to add lean muscle tissue or and or increase endurance. Uh, I think that the glycerol base ha- also helps to hydrate the muscle. Any A lot of runners or endurance athletes use glycerol in an attempt to hydrate their bodies or super hydrate their bodies. I find find that it does both. It aids in the, the absorbability of the, of the creatine monohydrate and it hydrates the body, giving the muscles even more of a pump and giving you a better endurance workout and giving you uh, more energy in the workout itself. Uh, if that's not enough of a selling point for a creatine product, if that's not innovative for a creatine product, I challenge you to find something better.